Hi everybody, this is Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Um, so I'm dumb and I hit the wrong button on the Chromebook. So instead of unpausing, I stopped recording. So the weekend top and bottom of the deck is going to be split into two videos this weekend. So I guess I'll just go through the spiel while I shuffle some energy into this deck for my water sign friends. <clears throat> If this reading resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey and I might just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your placement signs, your moon, your rising, your Venus. You might find something that may resonate a little bit better. You might not. I don't know. It's very possible that the universe just might not have any messages for you. Ace of Wands popped out on the shuffle. We'll see if it comes back out in the spread. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And cross watchers, of course, are always welcome here. Universe, source, and spirits. I ask for any messages you have for our water sign friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, going into this weekend. Thank you, source. Thank you, spirits. Three more shuffles. Ten of Swords upright, Six of Swords upright. Some's coming to an end. You're dealing with the end of a very painful cycle. Here's the good news. That sucked, but it's over. You're moving forward. You're packing up the boat, and you're steering off to... Possibly a better place. The waters don't look too horribly choppy, but it's not a sheet of glass either, so just be mindful of that if that's resonating with anyone. <sighs> What happened? Fool in the reverse, Queen of Cups. Deep emotion. Lack of trust. There's something possibly not trustworthy about whoever you're dealing with. Though, you know, there was a lot of emotion in the connection. I mean... It looks like a pretty full cup. There's steam coming off of it, maybe. Hmm. No trust. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. What happened after that? Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Could have been a fight for control. Could have been someone dealing with their inner demons. Didn't get the happy ending though. Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Well, that makes sense since the Ten of Swords is in the upright and the worst of it's over. Totally makes sense. Right, what's coming in for this weekend?
Knight of Swords in the reverse, death in the reverse. So, yeah, that happens. Nobody's talking. Communication's been blocked, but struggling with the spiritual aspects of it, possibly. Struggling with the soul evolution of it. Could be you, could be them, could be both. Closure is a process. The spiritual evolution part happens in time. That doesn't happen overnight. At least not for most of us. Some of us, it's like the snap of a finger. Some of us, it's a long, dark walk. Depends on who you are, I guess. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going into this weekend, a little bit of clarity. A little bit of clarity. What am I clarifying? We'll throw one on the full. Why is the full reversed here? The full reversed comes out. Lack of trust. Something you weren't quite. There was something about it. You just couldn't take that leap. Either you or them. Somebody couldn't take the leap. I'm thinking it was you. Hesitation. Could have been you weren't ready. There was something about it you just didn't trust. Why is the Queen of Cups here? If it's not a lack of trust issue, it's just somebody wasn't ready. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups reversed, King of Swords reversed. I'm getting a sense somebody may have taken the not wanting to take the leap the wrong way. And though there's deep emotion there, um... Somebody made the very emotional decision to walk away. Possibly had a bad attitude in the process with this King of Swords reversed. Okay. Okay. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Six of Wands reversed. Okay. Someone fighting a very tough battle with some inner demons, possibly. Fighting for control. The Six of Wands reversed is somebody who either didn't make it back from the battle or was very bruised and battered when they got back. One more on that, please. Hi. Whoa, what are we doing? Karma. Empress reversed. Mm, so yeah, somebody making that judgment call that this isn't going to go anywhere. Leading into the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? Okay. High Priestess reversed. Could be as simple as somebody not acknowledging a connection. Someone not listening to their intuition. Sometimes when we're making emotional decisions because we're all uppity up about something. Yeah. Ten of Cups moments reversed happen. It happens. We have a tendency to spill other people's cups when we lose control of our emotions, don't we? When we don't keep things like that in check. Okay. 
blocked communication. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? Or what's coming into this weekend? Ace of Swords reversed. Nobody's talking. I don't think I'm going to beat that card to death anymore. Why is death reversed here? Ah, gosh. Okay. Okay, you want me to take five cards? I'll take five cards. Fine. 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 I'll work through that card salad you just threw at me. Fine. Okay. Wow. The Tower, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the High Priest. Okay. Here's the good news. Yeah. Well, any change that hasn't occurred yet, it's about to. Cycles are closing out here. The storm is coming, and I think things are going to come to a head this weekend. Someone's going to be concentrating very much on the negative aspects of a connection and completely ignoring a cup that is trying to be handed to them. This could lead to new starts in abundance, either between the two of you or going your separate ways. It depends. Depends on how you react to the tower, more or less, because strap in, kids. Change is coming. Seven of Wands in the upright. Possibly more fighting and arguing and squabbling. Not even knowing necessarily what you're fighting, arguing, and squabbling about. I think a lot of this is going to be internal. Somebody, somebody kicking themselves in the butt for what could I have done differently? But with this high praise, there, the soul lesson. I'm not seeing this as a blessed union. I'm seeing this as the soul lesson. He. He's the student, he's the teacher. He also marries people, but I'm not catching that off of this card in this instance, not with everything else that's here. Your soul lesson is coming this weekend, water signs. Your soul lesson is coming. Or it could be theirs, somebody's is. I'm not going to speak on this. I'm going to let the cards do it. That's what the cards have for your advice. Because I know what I'd do, but I'm not the one giving the advice the cards are. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse. If it's not equal, if it's not balanced, if the playing field is not level, don't do anything with it. Don't move forward. Don't act. One more set on that. Two of swords in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. If the communication between the two of you is horrible, if the negative energy is there, don't allow yourself to be blind to it. And don't do anything with it until the energies become more positive and less confrontational until things become more clear until you get more information don't do anything with it don't do anything allow the cycle to end put the distance there 
Ten of Wands in the reverse in the sun. Until you release the burden of this, the sun can't shine. This is a burdensome connection. And until someone releases their baggage, it can't, it just can't happen. Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> it may be best to give this time and allow these wounds to air out and not concentrate so much on the love aspect of your life at this point. So don't get yourself right back into another situation because you lost patience. You need to be patient with the universe, be patient with yourself, be patient with energies, be patient with others. But mostly be patient and kind to yourself, water sign friends. You cannot control or dictate the actions of other people. And you cannot control and dictate the emotions of other people or the reactions of other people. That sounded nice. Okay. Fire signs. What do we got? Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get any messages you have for our fire sign friends? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Coming up into this weekend, please. Three shuffles. Ten of Wands reversed and the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Tell me, can one ride a unicycle with a bundle of sticks on their back? How hard is that? I'm wondering. Hmm. Fighting and struggling to maintain your balance. Harmony. With such a heavy load on your back. All right, fire signs, what happened? Knight of Pentacles reverse, three of wands, something went stagnant something that was already moving extremely slowly stopped patiently waited at the dock hmm okay what happened after that four of wands eight of pentacles maybe your ship came in A lot of earth and fire on this board right now. Wow. Could be another fire sign or another earth sign you're dealing with. That's all I have here right now. Two, ten, seven. Huh. Stability, foundation, 11-11 connection.
According to the work into the connection. Okay. Possibly building foundations, concentrating on work. Hmm. It's coming in for this weekend. Mmm. I see. Page of Cups reversed in the Queen of Pentacles. Well, well, well. Okay. Did I have a moment or what? <clears throat> see what I did there? Totally mixed my cards up for a second. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my fire sign friends, please? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? Knight of Wands reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> yes, they went stagnant. They went out of balance. They were no longer moving forward. We know this. Why the Knight of Wands reversed? Things don't typically go stagnant when someone wants to stick around. Judgment, Emperor reversed, Ace of Swords reversed. Well, it definitely does when the other person doesn't want to stick around. Huh. Okay. Making a judgment call, lack of communication. This just isn't going to grow. Why is the three of wands here? High priestess reversed. Someone possibly being a little bit egotistical. Yeah, I'll just sit here and wait for you to come back. One more. Two of cups because I feel this connection. I don't want to let it go. That's how you end up with the wands on your back, friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you don't allow cycles to close out. That's how you end up with that weight. Why is four wands here? Hi. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Can you build a foundation on codependency? One more. Definitely some emotion there. That scares me a little. That, that's teetering. That's walking a fine line indeed. It's the ultimate connection. It's the 1111. It's, you know, if you believe in that sort of thing. It's the, but it's so, that Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Cups scares me on top of that. Because that, 
that leads us into our emotions getting away with us from us and it allows cycles like this to happen again I don't think this is the same connection why is the eight of pentacles here Strength reversed. Yeah, draining. Putting so much work into this and so much work into this. One more. So much work into this connection. Possibly all of the work that is just draining. Chariot reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Yeah. So much work into it. You don't even realize how draining it is or what it's doing to you. It's like going and going and going and just running and running and running and possibly, you know, if you run the engine for so long and forget to change the oil or going and going and going and going and realize, oh crap, I first got to stop and get gas. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those. Trying so hard to feed the connection that you just stop the freaking car and you're dead on the side of the highway. It's one of those. What's coming in for this weekend? Queen of Wands reverse to no forward movement. Possibly trying to avoid confrontation. No communication. Maybe no hook and effort getting together. Doing that, you know, that, that thing. <laughs> of a certain nature. None of that going on this weekend. Page of Wands. I hate it when they land halfway like that. That's stagnant energy. Nothing's happening this weekend. I think you'd just maybe just be taking a break from it because so much energy, so much energy, so much energy. You're dead on the side of the highway, and I think you're having a hard time because you're so burdened. You're having a hard time on the unicycle right now. You just can't stay level. You're trying, but that's going to tip in a big hurry. One more wand, and there it goes. You can't take anymore. Why is the Queen of Pentacles up right here? That is a shining bright spot. Why is the Queen of Pentacles upright? Six of Swords. Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah. You're taking me time. You could be walking away from this connection this weekend, some of you. Just, you can't right now. This has been too much. I think this comes from trying to throw a Band-Aid on an old wound too soon. And trying so desperately to make it work, and you just can't. You know what? I need me. I need me time. At the very least. Or I need to start concentrating on me. I need to start working on me. That's what I see. It's 
Get some advice. Wow. Whew. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Lovers in the upright. It's not a good idea to try to start new connections before ending old cycles, especially the painful ones. Fire signs are very good at ignoring old wounds. Pick up, dust off, move on. We do it all the time. Well, you, yeah, no, yeah. not good for you. And it's not good for the soul. It's not good for future connections. It's just not good for you. It's really not. Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hierophant. You have to have a solid foundation before you get that lasting connection. It's very hard to build a solid foundation when you're not solid yourself. And you can't be solid if you're building a foundation on a bunch of old cycles that you never closed out. Because that's what just leads to the same cycle happening over and over and over and over again. So, it's very important to eventually accept the soul lesson that a universe is trying to teach you over and over and over and over again. That's how souls grow. That's how we evolve spiritually when you stop yourself from making the same mistake over and over and over again. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Remember just a few minutes ago I was talking about you were just running around like a chicken with your head cut off and you forgot to change the oil in the car and put gas in it and now you're dead on the side of the highway because you tried to feed a connection so desperately that you ended up dead on the side of the highway. Slow and steady wins the race. The journey to ten pentacles started with a single slow moving pentacle. Slow the damn truck down. Okay? I get it. I'm a Sagittarius, and I should probably follow the advice that the cards give. Six of Pentacles in the reverse of the Page of Swords. Okay. If something seems a little bit off balance, it might be time to have an honest conversation and talk about it. I don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody out there. Okay. Thanks, guys. You guys have been wonderful. I appreciate you. I'm thoroughly enjoying getting things kicked back off. And life possibly returning to semi-normal around here, I guess. So, Sunday night, I will throw down cards for the work week top and bottom for next week. And on Tuesday, which will be my first day with the house to myself all day long. Because it will be the first day since March that my son has not been home. I'm throwing down some cards. I, I'm not going to sit and veg and play my video games and clean my house. No, I'm going to throw down cards because we're getting this channel back on track. But I love you guys. My phone's blowing up. Peace and love to you. Namaste. I will catch you guys on Monday.